What is the last thing we okay, need to talk the about? The very biggest news of the week, even though Thor Ragnarok came out, I think, is that 21st Century Talks, 20, 21st Century Fox is holding talks to sell a majority of their company to Disney. Which is assumably X-Men. Fantas- well, it's everything. It's the whole company. All of Fox would be Disney's. Which... Um, holds some big monopoly business that neither you nor me, I don't think, understand or really care about. So we're just going to talk about what that means in if terms of comic books. <laughs> yeah, I again, I don't. We can see that Disney doesn't screw stuff up. We no. thought we worried about Marvel, and then we worried about Dis- uh, Star Wars. Yeah, and none of them no should have been worried about. No, they don't fuck shit up. So I would be happy, except I like the darkness that we're going with X Men and everything. I and agree. I kind of don't want it to be kids. K- kids friendly. Like, I like Deadpool. Yeah. Being rated R. And I if agree. You change that, like that's when I'm like picturing Mickey Mouse ears on Deadpool, and I'm like, you can't do that. It's no. Just, it's but I not mean, a kids. Show. If you look at the Netflix Marvel shows. Those are all very dark, and they say bad words. That's and true, and there's, like, lots of sex and stuff. Yeah. I guess, okay, so there is still hope. Again, I, I had a moment of, of worrying of about worrying. Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that there's there's a possibility that maybe you keep the Fox label, and you do just R-rated like you superhero movies over there. Just uh, like you yeah. Lucas yeah. film in front of Star Wars. And then you can bring, um, you know, you can bring X-Men and Fantastic Four over and do them in the Marvel Universe. And then you can even still have Deadpool be in the Marvel Universe, but just have it be under a different label so that they don't need to, you know. Yeah. You're not send. it's not a Marvel movie. It's a Fox Marvel movie still. So it, you know, the kids, it, it, you're yeah. separating them. I think it's possible. I... So, all in all, I hope it happens. I, that's where I will stick. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I just think it's really funny because for years now, we've been hearing that Disney is trying to buy X-Men and Fantastic Four back from Fox. And they wouldn't do it, and they wouldn't do it, and they wouldn't do it. And so Disney's like, eh, fuck it. We'll just buy the whole damn company then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, I, th- I mean... I think it's really exciting because the X-Men universe in Fox right now is pretty blah, in my opinion. I just think it'd be great to pair all of these fantastic four characters and X-Men characters with all these Marvel characters that we love. Because we've been wanting to see that forever, and it's been happening in the comics forever, and it'd be awesome. And it means that Marvel gets to start trying to make good Fantastic Four and X-Men comics again. Because they haven't been trying forever because they don't own it in the movies, so they don't care. Yeah. There hasn't been a good Fantastic Four comic in 15 years, and it's kind of sad. Just the way that Marvel is able to make these movies fun and happy and cool, Fantastic Four is built for that. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, so you have to make it. Yeah. I hope so. I, I, I really. I'm super excited. So I'm excited for Disney to buy it. I yeah. hope they do. Yeah, me too. 